Hi everybody, this is Shane Arm and Rowan. Today, we are going to show you how to get the Pico 8 Fantasy Console running on your Steam Deck. Now, if you don't already know what the Pico 8 is, we're not gonna go into great detail, but Pico 8 is essentially a fantasy console that only exists as an emulator, right? So they designed this, uh, well, you can read all about it for yourself. Um, however, this is not free. So I'm gonna assume that if you're watching this video, you already purchased Pico 8. Uh, it's like 15 bucks and there's hundreds of great games for it. You can write your own games. Enough of the sales pitch. I'm assuming you've already purchased it and you have access to your download page. So we're gonna go ahead and get started. There is a Linux version. I had a lot of trouble getting the Linux version to work exactly the way I wanted to. So we're gonna go ahead and use the Windows version. And to make life easier, we're gonna use the Windows installer version. Go ahead and download the setup file to your downloads folder on your deck. And then we're pretty much done with the browser. We can go back to Steam. And we are gonna go ahead and add a non-Steam game browse and we're going to head to our downloads folder under home deck downloads we're going to change the application file type to all files now you can see we have our setup.exe file here of course your downloads folder may vary but the file you just downloaded should be right here we're going to go ahead and add that selected program to our library so now we have an installer runnable from Steam. So I'm gonna go ahead and look for that, and there it is. So when we play this right now, as soon as we go ahead and set compatibility, because this is Windows, so we do have to have a compatibility. I'm using GE Proton 714. You can use uh, Proton Experimental or 701. Both should work fine. So what this will do when we run this for the very first time is it's going to run the setup EXE, which will then install Pico 8 into a special Proton folder that looks like a Windows folder that can be then executed from within Steam. So let's go ahead and run that installer. We are going to push our way through. We're gonna use the defaults and we are not going to run it this time. Instead, we are going to Go ahead and change our launcher to no longer use the setup EXC, but to actually run the Pico 8 uh, Fantasy Console. All right, so we're going to go ahead and um, change the properties. We no longer want to point to the setup file. We want to point to the actual Pico 8 executable that is now tucked away inside of a Proton folder. So let's go ahead and hit Browse. And if you've seen my other videos, you know this can be a bit of a challenge. So we're going to go to the home deck folder. Within there is a .local folder, share, steam, steam apps, compat data. All right, and now what we're looking for is a folder that was made today. And so I have one right here. Uh, that was made at 8.55. I'm assuming that it's in here. We're going to dig into the PFX folder, Drive C folder, <laughs> and we're going to look under Program Files. There's Pico 8, and here's Pico 8 EXE. Great. So now this should launch us into the Pico 8 application. But what we really want to do is land in the Pico 8 Explorer application, because if we were to run this right now, it would drop us into the Pico a development environment. Well, we really would just rather land in the Explore application or Splore application. So we're gonna add the command launch option of dash Splore. That's gonna pass us along and when Pico 8 boots, it's gonna dump us straight to this very, very handy applications manager within Pico 8. Verify our compatibility, we're good. We could probably go ahead and change this now, right? Because it's no longer running setup, it's just running Pico 8. And let's go ahead and make sure that Pico 8 will run and land us in Explorer mode. Then we'll talk about the changes you might need to make. Okay, well, it definitely landed us in Explorer mode, and we can use our controller. Oh, we can't use our controller. Oh, there we go. Just had to use a different part of the controller. Um, and you can search and make sure that search works. I'm going to search for a game called Robotron, and there it is. 
Great. So this all works, and I'm using the keyboard right now to kind of navigate around, but this really is all about using a controller. So we're gonna get out of this, and if you happen to have the ability, you can right click and hit close here, or if you're in full screen mode and you can't get to your taskbar, you can hit Alt F4, just like any other Windows app, and get rid of Pico 8. All right, so we're done on the desktop side. We have Pico 8 set up, it's running, it's running under Proton, so we can go ahead and return to gaming mode now and actually set up the controls that we're gonna to need to make this function properly. Okay, so we are back at the gaming mode side and there is Pico 8 sitting here. So let's go ahead and jump in here. Okay, so let's take a look at the controls. I've already created a layout, but let's take a look at the layout that I chose and why I may have chose it. So first off, I enabled the back grip buttons and I assigned R5 or the lower grip button to the Alt key and L5, the lower left grip button, to be F4. That should be pretty obvious. I can now hold this and press this and I can immediately escape out of any sort of situation that Pico 8 might bring up. We also have uh, some other layout changes. Pico 8 uses one controller and two buttons. The problem is some games like Robotron use two joysticks, one for player one and one for player two. We don't have two joysticks, so instead, since some of these games allow you to use keyboard as well, we're gonna go ahead and map the right joystick, we're gonna change it to a D-pad, and for each of these four directionals, we're gonna assign the corresponding keyboard action. So at this point in time, this now means move up, move right, left, move down, and move right. Unfortunately, the joystick is gonna do the same thing. Inside the game, we're gonna do a swap joystick and you'll see that it works fine. But there's all sorts of weird possibilities that you might run across when you're mapping game controls. This is just one of the weird ones and uh, you probably didn't, won't even need to do this for 99% of the games. But now that we have all of that figured out, let's go ahead and take a look at how Robotron plays now using our configuration with Pico 8. All right, we'll jump in. Right, I hit X. And I'm gonna use twin stick swapped. And if I don't, the controls will be backwards. And you could try it yourself and I could explain why, but it's not really that important. It's really important to know that it works. Let's go ahead and try it out. Perfect, it works exactly like I'd hoped. So this is great. This is the way Robotron's meant to be played with two controllers. I can now either exit the game properly but there's really no reason to, right? If I'm done playing Pico, I can hold down that bottom right, hit bottom left, and I am escaped. So I, that's why I mapped those two grip buttons, if you remember. I mapped these two so I can get out anytime I want. And for those of you who are not familiar with Pico 8, um, so that's it. I mean, you're done. At this point in time, you've got Pico 8 running. You can download games through Explorer. I mean, if you know Pico 8, you're far enough along that you don't need to watch the rest of the video. However, I will show you a couple of other interesting features here. So search is the big one, right? And so I know there's a game, a Wizard of War game called uh, Wizards, uh, what's it called here? Um, let's see. So you can see, look at this. I mean, there's so much stuff. There's so many games to look at here. Load more. I mean, you can see that this is just ridiculous how much stuff that there is. And look at this. Wizard's Rule. That's what I was looking for. There we go. And this is just, of course, a knockoff of Wizard of War. So I can go ahead and select that, like I did with Robotron. I'm also going to favorite this one because I like this game a lot. Oops, I untagged it. And then I'm going to go ahead and exit because I, I can play this later. And now I want to search for another one of my favorite games, Phoenix. Another fantastic uh, old classic arcade game port. Add that one. And I'm gonna also mark it as a favorite. I love this stuff, it's great. Pico 8 is such a great little console. Everything sort of feels like, like the old Atari Lynx for those of you who know what I'm talking about. Okay, yeah, I know that, was, uh, that wasn't a great send off. So now I've got all of my favorites here. There's work in progress ones that you can download uh, early access, if you will, featured stuff, things that are brand new. So this really is sort of a discovery and application manager type scenario. It's really, really cool. And of course, if you have local files, you could access them from there. But there you go.
pretty cool stuff. And of course, I can always Alt F4 myself out. And that's it. Listen, I hope you enjoyed looking at the Pico 8. Uh, great little system, totally worth 14 bucks, especially if you may plan to want to do your own development. 14 bucks is really cheap for a full-blown IDE to write these great little uh, 8-bit style games. Thanks, as always, so much for watching. Please like, subscribe, hit the notification. You guys know what to do. And uh, I appreciate you guys watching my videos. Take care.